We have a mission statement with Rusty's Bicycle, and that is giving the homeless a lift one bike at a time. The thing that motivated me to do something to help others using bikes was when I was feeding down at the homeless shelter with our church. We would go the first Monday of every month. And I was feeding down there and I just noticed all the bikes that were chained to the fence and most of them were in pieces. They were really unrideable. People had stolen a lot of and removed a lot of parts. So they were just there chained to the fence. And as the evening wore on, I noticed some guys riding their bikes in, but they didn't have brakes on their bikes. They were dragging their feet like Fred Flintstone. So uh, they were rolling, but that was about it. And I stopped one, one fella and, and I said, uh, you, you don't have all these things working on the bike. He says, yeah, but it rolls. It moves on its own when I pedal it. And that's all I can afford right now. So I talked to the men's coordinator there at the shelter where we were feeding. And I asked him, could I bring you a few repaired bikes? And maybe you can give them to fellows that are struggling with their bikes. So I started doing that. I gave the bikes to a fellow named Andrew and he uh, got them to the fellows that needed the bikes the worst. And it probably did that for 18 months. Finally, one day I asked Andrew if the coalition there, the shelter, if they would benefit from having a bike repair day where we would come and just do repairs on a, maybe a Sunday. Well, the next month when he came, he said, yeah, I, they, the management thinks that might be a good idea. So we set it up and uh, I did it myself the first day. And wouldn't you know, four homeless guys that have had experience fixing bikes asked if they could help me. And I said, sure, because I had no other help. And we got 29 bikes fixed that day with their help. Uh, it was pretty fun. After that, we went every three months. And we have done that since 2008. But they come, they're so happy to get their bikes fixed because these folks desperately need transportation. Others come and they have bikes that are just way too problematic. They have too many issues to repair. And so uh, I bring about 25 extra bikes that are all fixed and are ready to go. And we line them up. And if we can't fix a bike, then I ask them if they'd like to trade. And they always say, yes. We probably serve each year 2,000, at least 2,000 people per year is what we've been doing. That's how it got started, it was, is with uh, feeding people at the shelter and seeing an opportunity, seeing a problem that needed a solution as they ride off smiling and uh, with their new light and their new locks. Uh, they're pretty excited, pretty happy. So it brings them joy. We also tell them that the Father loves them before they leave. Uh, we tell them that uh, uh, Jesus is the answer to all our problems in life and that He loves them and the, the Heavenly Father uh, has His arms around them and often we get a chance to pray with them before they go. My favorite chapter in the Bible is Isaiah 58. Because we find out when we read that chapter what, what true worship is and what kind of worship pleases God the most. It is finding people who are hurting and loving on them and helping them. What we do kind of falls in that genre.
because we're giving people the gift of transportation so that they can, they can help themselves. I would like to challenge anybody who's watching this that there is something you can do for God, that you can do for others that would just brighten their day and, and help them in their life with their issues. How can you put a price on that? There's just so many things that if you just think about it, and if you open your eyes and let the Spirit speak to you about what you could do with the talents that you have to make a difference in someone's life and lead them to Jesus. And all of us have gifts, all of us have things that we can offer it's a way to worship God. It's a way to help our fellow man. And uh, I'm touched when I see that happen.